Just what have you seen from uh, Terrence Ferguson, TJ, you know, the last year or two uh, that you've been around him and just obviously he's, you know, kind of growing into a bigger role now? Fer Ferg has grown so much. You, you guys call him TJ Ferguson, Coach calls him TJ. We call him Ferg. That's Ferg to us. And um, Ferg has grown so much. He just kind of flipped the switch, you know, and he really – brought me up last year. I, I played a lot last year. He didn't get to play last year, but I felt like that kind of lit a fire under him and he sees the opportunity and he saw that if you work hard and you know what you're supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis, you're you're going to play. You're going to get what you deserve. And his mindset has completely changed. His He's just ready to play. Tyler Nash, it was your freshman year, but how do you see Caden Proctor growing as a freshman, understanding this could be a year for him to get playing time? How has he been developing? Caden's been developing really well. You know, he, he's got all the physical attributes that you want in the offensive lineman here at the University of Alabama. The thing with Caden, he just has to um, put the technique together, and that'll come along with camp. Like, fall camp is about development, physically, obviously, but we're also developing the mindset of, we're going to come and run the ball on you and be dominant. We're going to drop back and pass the ball, and we're going to make sure whoever's back at quarterback goes untouched. And we're just trying to develop that mindset. But Caden, he's taking all the right strides towards being a contributor for this offensive line. It just is going to take time of development. Tommy Reese says that if you go back in time and play a different position, he'd be a pulling guard. First off, what do you think about just from his personality about how he'd do at that? And then second of all, what is it like having an offensive coordinator that kind of likes that tough, hard-nosed uh, mentality? First of all, I don't think Coach Reese has the frame for it, but <laughs> knowing how he likes to call plays, I think he has the mentality for it for sure. And just having an offensive coordinator who has that run-first mentality, have that – yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass the ball as a compliment to the run. That's very reassuring to the office to an offensive line, especially ours. Like we wanna we wanna make people quit this year. And there's no better way to do it that rather than to run the ball. You know, so we're we're gonna run the ball this year. We're gonna pass the ball as well because we have a lot of talented guys at receiver. We have a lot of guys that can throw the ball very well. So just having that run first mentality as an offensive line that that just gets us going because we wanna make people quit. What if <laughs> what have you learned from J.C. Latham, and what does he bring to that room with you guys? Um, I've, I've learned a lot from J.C. ever since my official visit, and that's when I really decided to commit. I just saw how much he grew from being from being with him for years at IMG to being with him now, and just the way he um, approaches the game. You know, we'll see certain fronts in practice, and J.C. will point out a stunt coming or a blitz coming, but. I'm still thinking about the IMG JC. I'm like, all right, man. I, I, I'll take a look out there, but I'm not sure if it's coming. But when the stunt comes, it's, it's like, oh shoot! Like JC has a jump on it, so he's really, he's really intel intelligent, and I'm glad to see his football IQ has grown so much. So being able to act, being able to um, trust him right beside me and have a jump on the defense because we know what they're doing before they know it, it's very reassuring. So just learning how to understand what the defense is trying to do to us. That's what I've learned from JC, and I'm excited to learn a lot more, and I'm excited to dominate alongside him. Uh, being out there for the fan day practice, what do you guys think of the new grass uh, playing surface at the stadium? I liked it. It was great. You know, we, we've always had a great stadium, and I've always been a fan of grass. So it was just, it just got a redone. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm just excited to go play, play on it in front of all the fans. Coach Saban's talked about how the running back group can be a real strength uh, for this team. Just as an offensive lineman, what's it like blocking for that deep group? It's, it's nothing like it. I, we, we love all the running backs that we have, that have there. Um, no matter how young or old they are, they're, they're hungry. They're ready co to contribute. And Coach G holds them accountable. And we're very grateful for him for that. And we really work together. We, we have the ability to talk to the running backs like, okay, what do you see right here? What's your aiming point on this play? Do you want me to take the front side or the back side of this once we get to the second level? So having a great relationship with our running backs, that's going to open up a lot for our offense. I'm excited to block for them this year. If there's one or two words that you would use to describe your mindset as a blocker, what would they be? Um, physically dominating. You know, and that's the mindset of the whole room. Like, we want to physically dominate you. We want to intimidate you. We want the third quarter to roll around and be in the defense to be like, oh, my gosh, like, we still can't stop the run. Like, how are we going to stop this run? We want guys to tap out. We want, we want guys to fear us. But that's a mindset that we have to develop now in camp, you know. And being here at the University of Alabama, that's the mindset of running the ball. And you're not going to play offensive line here if you don't have that mindset. So whoever you see on the field, 
has that physically dominating mindset. And we're going out there like we're trying to make you quit every play. Hey, Tyler, thank you very much for being here. Um, Seth has a passion for running the ball. In fact, he says, like, run the damn ball. You share that same passion for running the football? Of course, and that's why me and Seth get along so well. You know, Seth kind of took me under his wing once I got here. And um, those are one of the things he imparted to me. He's like, look, would you rather drop, drop back and, and pass it against guys who are 240 pounds? Or would you rather put your weight on somebody and run the ball 30 times a game and give ourselves a real shot at really dominating the opponent. So I, I love Seth's mindset, and that's really the mindset of the whole room. Kind of following up on that, you know, all of Alabama's great offensive lines have had that leader at center. How much reassurance does Seth kind of give you guys as a unit, just kind of being a leader out there? He gives us a lot of reassurance at center. Seth, he, he makes a lot of calls, and Seth and I, Seth and the whole offensive line, we have a lot of great relationships. And he has a great relationship with Coach Wolf as, as well. And here's the special thing about Coach Wolf. He doesn't he doesn't talk at us, he talks with us. So it's almost like we're colleagues in a sense. So we, we work together to find what works best for our offensive line. And then Seth and the other centers, Darian, Ferg, they all come together and we see what works best for us. But just having a, a very dominant leader at center, whether it be Seth, Darian, Ferg, whoever's at center, is very reassuring for the rest of the offensive line. I know he's on defense, Tonga, but how have you seen Deontay Lawson really step into that leadership role as an inside linebacker? He, he's taking charge of that defense, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of him, and I'm very happy to see that. You know, A lot of the weight was placed upon Will last year to be the leader of the defense, but now that leadership role is being spread through guys. It's not just Deontay Lawson. You see Malachi Moore being the leader. You see Dallas Turner being the leader. You see Justin O'Boyle be being the leader. There's a whole lot of leaders on that defense, and whenever there's a lot of leaders, on the team in general, that's when we have better success. Ferg just graduated this past weekend after two years. Just how impressive is that? It's kind of unusual. And just what have you seen behind the scenes with his time management? It's very impressive. And that's one thing I took from Ferg once I got to the University of Alabama. He was great at time management. And he always made sure that he was getting his work done, whether it be here right before practice or at the academic building. He was always getting his work done. And I'm very happy for Ferg because now in, his, in the class that he'll take, he'll be more online. So he has, he'll have a lot of time to really focus on recovery and get ready for the following week. So I'm very proud of Ferg. What kind of progress have you seen from Elijah Pritchett, not only from last year, but just from the spring? I've seen a lot of progress from Elijah Pritchett and um, the rest of the guys that play tackle here, the rest of the offensive line, and that's just due to the mindset of us. Like, everybody's competing to play. Everybody's competing for a spot to play. It doesn't matter if you're in that starting five or not. I was, I'm living proof if you're ready to play, you're going to play. If, we, if you're good enough to play, you're going to play here. Like, I was the sixth man last year, so just development is big and key for everybody. But Pritch has done a great job developing this offseason. Yeah, going off of that, um, how have you seen him specifically this summer in just the first few days of practices uh, work to improve from what he did in the spring? Um, he's paying a lot more attention to detail. He'll still make mistakes here and there, but that's everybody. It's fall camp. You're going against the best defense in the nation. You're going to make mistakes. But the thing about Pritch, he'll, um, he'll take notes and he'll learn what he did wrong. And um, whoever the guard is, he'll, he'll talk with the guard and he'll make those mistakes right. And I'm very excited to see how he progresses through the rest of camp. And I'm excited to see how we develop a mindset as an offensive line of being physically dominant. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Roll Tide.